boys and girls and children of all ages, Fat Bash Wanna Be Buddha coming at you today. I'm still working on this stupid spellmaster and only the mighty. Uh, let's go to my collection. What I wanted to show off today is my Derrida deck. Deck right here. The founding deck of deconstruction. There's the deck. Difference and deference. All there. What I got is two backstabs, two shadow steps, two cold blooded, conceal. Um, Deadly Poisons 2, Sinister Strike, Sinister Strike, Blade Fury, Eviscerate, Sap, Shiv, Defias Ringleader, Novice Engineer, Fan of Knives, Acolyte of Pain, Edwin Ved Cleave, Quest and Adventure, and Gadgeteer Auctioneer. I think I'm going to take one of the Saps out. Um... Is I use them mainly to deal with large level taunts that I can't get past sometimes. Um, but I'm going to take one of those out. Put in spell damage. I'm going to put a Mancer, that in there. And let's see. I got two Shivs, two Eviscerates, two Blade Furies. Blade Fury should be only in there for um, the deal with the double poisons. So I take one of the Blade Furies out, put the second um, Geomancer in there so I can at least get some damage on it. And let's see, Dragons. Mm. There we go. I got my Twilight Drake and my um my Azure Drake. I'd really like to put the Azure Drake in there, but I don't know what to take out. Um I need another questing engine um adventurer, but I don't have it and I don't have the mats to craft it. I got two gadgeteer auctioneers in there, I got two acolytes of pain. Um do I take one deadly poison off in order to use Azure Drake? Um, actually, I might try that. Removing one deadly poison, one Azra Drake. I don't know if I was right the first way, but I knew it wasn't working for me. And this, I, I tried, I finally got Van Cleef, so I'm trying to do a Miracle Road deck. I don't think this is the right deck. I don't know. I would welcome any advice at all about how to properly build one of these. The thing is, this deck doesn't work as a Miracle Rogue deck because I'm missing one card. I need preparation. If I don't have preparation, this deck it completely falls apart. There's no way to get Van Cleef out there to be swinging from um, major damage unless I can pr um, prep him down really low and drop a whole bunch of spells at the early portion of it. Um, I need maybe another conceal in order to protect my adventurer or my auctioneer and Van Cleef when I do get them pumped up, but I just don't have it. I don't have, I don't even have head crack, which is such an easy combo to have in here. I could run another master's disguise, but it's a four, four card that you have to, I have to wait until you get level seven or eight before you can even think about dropping that card. Uh, um, in order to help on your other cards. So this is what I'm going to go through. I'm going to go into a regular game because I don't like messing around in um, the more competitive one. So I go into casual. As you can see, I'm only a Murloc ranked. I think I'm going to stay at Murloc because I, I, I'm having fun with my Murloc deck, which is this um, Sartre deck right there. So here we go. Let's play Let's play the, one of the founding fathers of Deconstruction. Let's see how he plays. So, this is one of the times that when you get a legendary, you, you try to build a deck for it and, and figure out that you don't know how to play with it. Sort of sad. I've been having absolutely atrocious luck with the deck. I don't think I've even won a single match with this deck at all. What we get? I get a hunter. I'm probably going to get a rush down hunter deck. Oh, no minions. I keep the backstab, though. Acolyte of Pain and Van Cleef. 
I was hoping I would get you know take candle another backstab. Where's the you know take candle? I'd rather have you know take candle. Well, on turn three, I can double backstab stuff if he's got dominions out there, and this will be basically um what a six a six six, which ain't bad. I'd like to get it a little pumped up more than that, and I would like to have at least a conceal. Good. At least on by turn five, I can do I'm um, drop my Van Cleef for some damage. That cheers me up. Here we go. Turn three, I will drop my Acolyte of Pain. Turn four, hopefully I get um on um, you know do damage and I can dagger up again. Well, let's see. What's he's coining into for three? The bear taunt? No, the buzzard. Okay, I'll take that. I have no problem taking some early damage, but I cannot afford to get too low um, before I start doing damage. Well, I got cold-blooded. Well, oh, Acolyte of Pain drops on this one. And you die. In turn. See, the thing is, I don't know if I should just backstab these things... And, but I'm trying to do the combo. I, I don't know. Normally, I wouldn't even worry about the combo, and I just clear the board, clear the board, clear the board. Because what I'm going to do next turn is get Van Cleef out with a, with a conceal on him. Because then I can drop a cold-blooded. Oh, kill command. But this time I at least get to draw two cards. Let's see what I get. Now, here we go. I don't. I, I don't have anything to do the damage minions on. And. That's that's sort of sad. That's just sort of sad. Here we go. He doesn't have any minions on the board. I'm gonna just drop the eviscerate. Job done. I know it was a waste of will eviscerate, but he doesn't have any minions on the board. Play some minions this hand, please. You know, get something out there, please. I need preparations. If burning trap, probably. No minions. No minions. Look at that. No minions at all. That is sort of sad. And... Pain. Look at this. This is what the problem with the deck is. It's just I, I just I'm so unsure about what to do. Can I backstab my own minion? I wonder if I could. I just uh, drop my um, Defias Ringleader out there, um, and an undamaged minion, um, damage him up. Actually, that's what I might do. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do is drop my this. That's one, two, three. I wonder. But I can't get the conceal out. I can't Greetings, get. Greetings, traveler. Greetings. The pleasure is I can't right. get the conceal out. I got a question. Can he kill it? Without the conceal. This is our town, scrub. Yeah, beat it. Thank you. Brotherhood shall come back. Bring the pain. 
Here we go. Now, I don't know. I got to conceal it next well turn. Played. What does he got fade on it? Thank you. See, I got to conceal it next turn, or otherwise I'm in trouble. I gotta conceal that next turn. Gadgeteer Auctioneer will be nice to play. Give me a Gadgeteer Auctioneer. Give me a Gadgeteer Auctioneer. Please give me a Gadgeteer Auctioneer. That way I can... Oh, that's nice. That'll do some damage. A Sap would be nice. I'm gonna hit that for for the conceal. Uh, cold blooded. Ah, I messed up. I messed up on my cold blooded. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. This is our town, scrub. Yeah, beat it. And put that back in his hands. I messed up on that play so bad. I messed up so bad on that hand. I just completely misplayed that. I should have did my combo so my um I could be hitting for um 14. And he's drawing a card. Oh, well, I forget to conceal. I forgot about the flare works on that. You gonna bring bring the doggies? Bring the doggies? Oh, you're gonna give it Tom. Gonna give it Tom. Gonna bring the doggies. He's still dead. He forgot about the deadly poison. He forgot about the deadly poison on my that's why you always save it. But well, let's have some fun. And deal four damage. Four damage. And smack. All right, it worked out. I actually won with it, but I misplayed the deck completely really bad. All right, um, this is the Fat Bash Wannabe Buddha. Any advice on how to properly play this? I've been watching Tides of Time using a similar deck of this, which I enjoy a lot. I'd really like to get the hang of this deck because it's more cerebral in nature. Um, but I need to learn how to play it properly. Maybe I just need to go, buckle down and go into practice and grind it out and expert over and over and over. And see how I can maybe work with it a little bit. But any advice that anybody can offer about how to properly play this deck would be more than welcome. Thank you very much. This is the Fat Bash Wannabe Buddha coming at you. Have a good day.